in celebrating the liturgy every day, we are attentive to the gospel or we are attentive to the writings of the, the apostles and the letters to the, the Christian communities, sometimes we overlook the Psalms. The Psalms, I believe, are they're just beautiful prayers coming from the heart. If you ever maybe spend some time in prayer with the, with the Psalms, I think we can begin to be open to the Spirit working in that prayer form. The Today's psalm is, a, is one that is one of my favorite. Guide me, Lord, along the everlasting way. Well, Lord, you have probed me and you know me. You know when I sit and, st and when I stand. You understand my thoughts from afar. My journeys and my rest you scrutinize with all my ways you are familiar. It speaks and celebrates the intimacy of God's loving care. Even in sin or doubt or discouragement, God knows us thoroughly and lovingly. We cannot accomplish things unless we are formed by the Word of God. And especially, that's what the Psalm 139 is communicating to us the love of God that is constantly with us and for us. And today's gospel certainly, again, highlights something so important for all of us. We are called to be reconcilers, to be reconciled with God, to be reconciled with one another, and to be forgiving of one another. That's the heart of, of God's calling in Jesus. I want to read with you the meditation on that dynamic from Living with Christ for today. And if he wrongs you seven times in one day and returns to you seven times saying, I am sorry, you should forgive him. These words of Jesus are difficult to accept, and, but acceptance brings life to the forgiver as well as to the forgiven. What a relief to be freed from the smothering ill will that, lay, that weighs upon us when we refuse to forgive. The one we forgive receives an opportunity for reconciliation. Even when our forgiveness is not accepted, it sows a seed of love that may bear fruit at a later time. Our willingness to forgive is a reflection of divine forgiveness. Tensions can melt when we give to others the reconciliation that we ourselves receive from God. It is easier for me to offer forgiveness when I remember how often I have received it. We can offer forgiveness when we know what it means to be forgiven. The disciples' response to Jesus' words was, Lord, if that's true, Increase my faith. Jesus again reassuringly says, if your faith is as a mustard seed, you can, you can do it. You can live what Jesus is calling us to, a reconciled life. Brothers and sisters, together we now present all our petitions to God our Father, trusting in his generosity. That the Lord may continue to bless his church on earth, making us greater in holiness and unity. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That nations in conflict in every corner of the earth may be led by the Holy Spirit to a place of peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That all who struggle with physical, financial, or other burdens may be granted relief through the grace and mercy of God. Let us pray to the Lord. 
Lord, hear our prayer. That all gathered here may continue to grow in faith, hope, and love. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the souls of the faithful departed may soon rest in the eternal peace of heaven. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. 